YouTube channel I'm Annie and school is in two days and I thought I was ready but today I visited my school and my stress levels were getting so high and it's really late right now so if you hear like animals I'm really sorry I'm trying to be loud and like talk over them but I was watching my family's video and she's like getting ready for back to school she is doing a lot of stuff and it's making me realize that I haven't really done anything to get ready today I got my hair cut I was planning on getting highlights a while ago but I decided that it wasn't really necessary and it might not end up looking good on me so I just decided to just get my hair cut and save myself the money my hair is like kind of coarse and right now it's like not doing terrible but I wanted to do a hair mask because I just want to do masks and like clean myself for back to school I feel like the first day of school is a lot of pressure because people are expecting you know some type of change some type of like glow up and I really can't promise that at least not this year but I mean I have a really cute outfit for back to school so at least I'm confident in that my hair mask is literally just an egg I wanted to keep it basic oh I just dropped my bracelet in the egg. I'm gross, I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna put this bag over my head. I know, this looks really silly, but hopefully the results are worth it. Never really thought I'd be in this stage right now. It's kind of a gross process, but I'm pretty sure that this mask is worth it. I mean, I just want to look good for back to school. And it's not only about looking good, it's just, I have like really coarse hair. And most of the time I'm just really insecure about my hair. So I just want my hair to be in a better space. And I want to be in a better space. Honestly, I haven't always been the best at keeping up with a good hygiene routine. But I was watching Azalea Williams' video about hygiene. And it seems like a lot of people like have their hygiene routine. And they're just really good at it. So I've been learning from other people and Azalea was talking about how you're supposed to clean behind your ears and like no one talks about it and to use witch hazel I also have charcoal water I like to use both I like to use charcoal water for my face I'm gonna wash my face later today because I'm gonna shower because of this mask I think I'm gonna leave the mask on for like an hour to get like really good results I'm gonna go in with some witch hazel and I'm going to treat my Chesney. I'm not that insecure about Chesney actually, like it kind of sucks and I think I should take better care of it, but I'm not that insecure about it. Maybe I should be. And I can't really get the back of my ears right now because it's in the mask, but I will do it later. Something else that I really want to do is a face mask. So when I was at camp, one of my cabin mates, Holly, gave me this face mask. It's like a milk peel. I love Holly. If you're watching this, I love you. I miss you so much. And we're just going to use this face mask. Two days ago, I used my favorite face mask. That is the Aaliyah Skin Pink Clay Mask. I did a collaboration with them a while ago. My channel is a lot smaller, and I still love them. I still use their products all the time. I haven't worked with them since, but I'd love to again, because it's literally my favorite mask ever, and it makes such a difference. I have been using a lot of face masks mask before school has been starting because I just really want to be prepared and I think that I have so many face masks in my house and I never use them I feel like I should actually like use them and I heard that if you use face masks like frequently it's really good for your skin and I don't really do that I'll go in phases where I'll use like a face mask multiple times a week and I'll just stop so I need to be more consistent about it and intentional to use them shave my calves but I'm gonna save that for tomorrow night. This video is kind of gonna be like a two night video because this is two days before school starts and I'm going to be filming a lot tomorrow night too. I want to start using whitening strips but I feel like if I start using them I'm gonna have to like live off of them. It's like wearing a full face of makeup. If you've never done makeup before you're like really content with how you just look naturally but then if I like start wearing a full face of makeup then when I don't have makeup I'm gonna be like whoa like I'm not that pretty like I just don't want to have that so I try to stay really natural so I don't know if I like want to start whitening my teeth or not I think I'm just gonna stick with naturally like just brushing my teeth twice a day Some taquitos. it has been well over an hour so I'm gonna go take a shower and get all this disgusting mask out and I think my hair is gonna feel so good after that I'm back I just changed and I have really short eyelashes and a few days ago I bought this serum I've been using it every day it's a grande lash serum it's really expensive. It was 
so I'm pretty sure it's gonna work because everyone that has talked about it before has proof results and loves it. This is my third day using it, so it's definitely gonna be a process, but this is a big part of glowing up for back to school. This is not an immediate change though, so I'm still gonna be going to the first day of school with really short eyelashes, but eventually they'll grow. Okay, I need a mirror for this. Okay, that's all I'm going to be doing today. Good night, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I just came back from getting my nails done, and I just feel a lot nicer after getting them done. It's currently the night before school starts. Hung out with my friend Mia, had a great time, and I hung out with my friend Lucia, but I don't know why, I just feel so down. I feel like yesterday I was like at least a bit excited for school, and right now I just feel really down, like I just don't have the best feelings. It's probably just because I'm moody right now, but I just don't feel excited for school. I really don't want to be there right now. It's just stressing me out that I'm going to be seeing everybody, and I just wish I could put myself in a more positive mindset right now. But it's really hard. So I'm gonna try to like do some stuff to make me happy But it's not like I can have a movie marathon tonight I'm really just gonna try to detox and feel better But I'm really glad I got my nails done because I just feel like I look nicer and like my nails are cut I feel clean. I want to show you guys what I'm gonna be wearing to school I'm going to be doing a first day of school get ready with me So you guys will see in that video, but I want to show you in this video too So I'm wearing this like wrap dress from Brandy Melville I'm pretty sure you guys know what these look like, but you just wrap it like this and it's this red pattern I got it over the summer and I was debating whether I should wear this one or I have like a pink one that's also wrapped but it's a lot longer but I decided this is a little bit more casual and something that I really want to wear to school and funny thing I got an Apple watch a few days ago and now they have banned Apple watches at school this is so humiliating so but that's kind of unfortunate because most of my days are spent at school. I ordered a North Face backpack for school because I was going to be using my Konkin, but I'm pretty sure it's too small. But it hasn't come yet and I have school tomorrow. So I'm going to try to fit my stuff in my Konkin or use an old backpack. Because I don't have too much stuff because I don't have like books and schoolwork. Pencil case, calculator, and I'm reusing all of my supplies. I'm sorry that there weren't that many back to school videos. I was away at camp and I'm reusing all my supplies. These huge binders, I don't even know if they're going to fit in here. I did not get binder to Dividers for Mandarin. I'm kind of screwed. And I'm adding on another language this year, so I'm going to be taking a class with younger kids because I'm taking two languages. But I'm sure it'll be fun to make new friends. Ever since I got my nails done, I do everything like this. Like, I'm so careful. There are just a few things that won't fit. See, this is why I'm not using my Konkin for school. This is not too bad. Hi guys, I'm uh, Annie's sister. Um, I apologize for the headband in death. Annie's gonna go work out, do her Gabriella Whited. The first day of school is tomorrow. Um, I'm entering my senior year. Annie exposed to the whole world that I'm deaf. Not a lot of people know this, I don't know why, but I'm really deaf because if you won't talk to me, I'll be like, uh, didn't hear you. <laughs> I know I'm wearing the same shirt as last night, but it's just a sleep shirt. And when I sleep, I'm clean. So no judgment there, please. So what I'm gonna be doing is shaving and using a face mask. So let's get right into it. And I'm also gonna be putting coconut in my hair. So I have a lot of Lush face masks. Well, they're my sisters. I feel like Lush face masks don't do a lot, but that's just my opinion. Like there's not a lot that works for me here. I might just use the Aaliyah skin one, but I don't want to use that one too often. I'm trying to diversify what I use. So I'm going to be using cup of coffee. I have actually never used this one, but I've seen other people use it before and they seem to like it. So I don't know why, but using a viewfinder as a mirror, like doesn't really work. It's a different vibe than using like a mirror, but this viewfinder makes anyone look good. So it's kind of a confidence boost to look through this viewfinder. I definitely feel better about going back to school now and just being around my siblings makes me really happy. So mood is kind of boosted there. I just had a really good summer. <laughs> I was just surrounded by really influential people that were great, and it's a hard transition being away from them, um, and you know who you are, <sighs> but it's just a hard transition, but I think that once I'm into it, I'll be okay, and my aunt is actually visiting in a few days, so that's gonna make me a lot happier. We actually start school before Labor Day, like we go to school twice, and then we have that Labor Day weekend, so I won't be completely jumping back into the school schedule, and the first day of school, you don't really learn anything, so it's not that big of a deal. While this is, you know, working on my face we're gonna shave my legs i actually don't shave my thighs i just shave my calves i mean i don't think anyone pays attention to thighs and calves is what bothers me like i don't mind if there's hair on my thighs it doesn't bother me that much but calves 
bothers me. So I think I'm just gonna use some soap, or I actually like to use conditioner. Kind of a life hack. I don't have any shaving cream in my house. I just use conditioner. That's a tip that I learned actually from YouTube. I wanna pose for this thumbnail. Okay, I used to do cheerleading. What, mom? Okay, hopefully I don't miss a spot. When I did cheerleading and gymnastics, I was so flexible and I really wanna get back to it. Like, not that I wanna start cheerleading and gymnastics again, but I wanna start getting flexible again. A video idea that I had in mind was like a retired gymnast tries to get all her skills back and just me like practicing again and getting everything back. I think that'd be a really interesting video and something people could relate to. Ugh. Can't get the stuff out of the razor. I'm so done right now. Sometimes being a girl is just hard. I'm honestly really excited for the learning portion of school. I've been learning how to love learning. I think learning can be really fun if you just have a nice mindset. Not just saying that to be good influence, but if you pretend to enjoy what you're learning, then it'll just trick your brain into enjoying it. Stuff like math is hard for me to enjoy, but other subjects are pretty fun. I would say that math is my weakest subject. I just didn't have the best teacher a few years ago, so I was really behind going into middle school. Every single year, I kind of catch up to the accelerated kids, and I'm in the class, but like in sixth grade, I really struggled with math in seventh grade. I was like, okay, so hopefully in eighth grade, I can be good. <laughs> that I was gonna drop my camera. I don't know if this face mask is gonna make a difference, but we're just gonna trust in the process. I like accidentally ate it. So, <clears throat> so now we're gonna go into the coconut oil. I have super frizzy hair, and as I mentioned before, sometimes I can be insecure about it. So I really need to work on taking care of my hair in the right ways. Just through growing up puberty, my hair texture has changed a lot. And I think that instead of rejecting that and just sticking with the same routine and hating my hair, I need to learn how to adjust to that. Because every hair has different routines. I just need to get used to that. Like I can't just use a routine that would be for an Asian girl with flat hair. Because my hair used to be flat and silky. And now um, it's not really like that anymore. Maybe it'll change back. Have you guys started school yet? I don't know when this video is gonna get up, but hopefully I can get it up soon. I'm going to be buying a MacBook next month because I edit on a iMac, so it's like a desktop, and I'm so grateful for that computer, and it has gotten me so far through YouTube. All my videos are edited on there, but I just feel really isolated when I edit a lot of my room. Like, I just can't, like, be in my brother's room, hang out with him while editing and bring a laptop around places, and I just feel so limited to my room. Like, I love going out to different places, like maybe to a coffee shop to edit, and, like, my room is a dark room and I just don't always want to edit in the same spot and I just think it can be inconvenient. Sometimes I'm traveling and there's a really long plane ride and I like to take advantage of that. I just think that the laptop is an investment and it's expensive but it's a great investment. Like I know that if I get one I'll be using it all the time obviously because I edit pretty often but then I definitely am so grateful that I even have a computer to edit on and thank you guys for watching my video so it's possible that I can invest in a MacBook. Like I appreciate it so much. I feel like sometimes I don't don't show it enough and I really want to do an airpods giveaway get back more because I feel like I haven't I haven't shown it enough I am back into my room and we're gonna put some of my eyelash serum on because I do that every single night and I showed you guys me putting this on in the last night's clips but this is a pretty good serum I've heard a lot of great things about it 